Have you ever wondered about the captivating origins of the internet that encapsulates our world today? Picture a time when the notion of immediate worldwide communication was a mere illusion, a concept that boggled most minds. This is the saga of tenacious scientists and engineers who worked relentlessly, not just to create, but to interlink computer networks, an avant-garde idea at that time. Among these trailblazers was J.C.R. Licklider, an American psychologist and computer scientist. Licklider was not just a visionary, he was a dreamer. Stationed at the United States Department of Defense's Advanced Research Projects Agency, ARPA, Licklider's ambition was not just monumental, but audacious. He dreamt of a network that would unite anyone, anywhere, at any time. He envisioned a universal network, a tool that could link minds, not just machines. This was novel, a tiny seed of revolution sown that would burgeon into the vast digital ecosystem we traverse today. On today. On a parallel tangent, Paul Baran, another pivotal character in this narrative, proposed a drastically different yet groundbreaking approach to communication. He introduced the concept of a distributed network based on packet switching. This was not your conventional network reliant on a central hub. Baran's model was more resilient, more flexible. Even if one part of the network stumbled, the remaining sections would continue to function, ensuring a seamless stream of communication. An interesting fact about Barron's proposal was that he initially faced and resistance, yet his innovative thinking, coupled with absolute determination, managed to win over the critics. His theory was not just innovative, it was revolutionary, forming the cornerstone of today's internet. This early work wasn't just about piecing together networks, it was about bridging minds, amalgamating thoughts, weaving dreams together. The terrain these innovators navigated was riddled with hurdles and stumbling blocks. But their relentless resolve and pioneering spirit prevailed. They were not just laying the foundation for a new technology. They were ushering in a world of infinite possibilities. Their work was not confined to merely constructing networks. It was about nurturing possibilities. They were not simply linking machines, they were intertwining lives. They were not just transmitting data, they were propagating hopes, dreams and aspirations. They were mapping out a digital cosmos, a universe teeming with limitless opportunities for communication, collaboration and creativity. The dawn of connectivity was upon us, a time bursting with innovation, exploration and discovery. A time that redefined the impossible as possible, and the world as we knew it stood on the cusp of a profound metamorphosis. Here then was the birth of a universal network, setting the stage for what would eventually evolve into the internet that pervades our existence. As the concept of a universal network began to germinate in the collective consciousness, a project of immense significance and magnitude began to crystallize. Crystallize. The timeline takes us back to the late 1960s. It was in this epoch that the United States Department of Defense, the Pentagon, had birthed a grandiose vision. Their goal was audacious, almost bordering on the incredible. The creation of a computer network that could endure and survive the onslaught of a nuclear attack. Aptly, this ambitious venture was christened the ARPANET Project. The acronym stood for Advanced Research Projects Agency Network. ARPANET was not merely groundbreaking, it was a trailblazer, a pioneer that sculpted the path for many successors. The objectives of this daring venture were twofold. The primary goal was to provide a platform that would facilitate researchers situated in different geographical locations to exchange information, data and knowledge, and knowledge. The secondary and equally crucial objective was to design a system that would ensure the US military could maintain vital communications in the aftermath of a nuclear was an idea of colossal proportions. A network that could functionally persevere even in the event that significant parts of it were obliterated. But behind such an audacious project were, were challenges of a similar magnitude. From the technological hurdles to the tremendous financial implications, there were many roadblocks standing in the way of ARPANET's realization. At the helm of this revolutionary project were two exceptional individuals, Robert Taylor and Lawrence Roberts. 
Taylor, who held the prestigious post of Director at the Information Processing Techniques Office at the, at the United States Department of Defense, was instrumental in securing the necessary funding for ARPANET. Without his persuasive and vision, the project could have been scrapped prematurely due to a lack of financial, on the other hand, was the project manager whose tireless efforts transformed the concept into reality. His problem-solving skills and knack for innovation were key in overcoming the technological hurdles that the ARPANET project faced. However, for ARPANET to function effectively, it required a novel method, the transmission and reception of data. The solution emerged in the form of a concept called packet switching. This technology involves grouping data to be sent over a network into packets, which can then take different routes to reach their destination. This not only amplified the efficiency of the network, but also enhanced its robustness, making it capable of withstanding damages inflicted on parts of its structure. The decision to incorporate packet switching technology into ARPANET was genuinely a game changer. It marked a significant deviation from the traditional circuit switching systems that powered telephone networks and laid the very foundation for the modern internet as we comprehend and use it today. With packet switching proving, ARPANET began its journey of expansion. It swiftly burgeoned from a small network connecting four universities into a nationwide network binding together multiple institutions, research centers and government. This growth was breathtaking and set the pace for the exponential expansion of internet connectivity in the subsequent years. ARPANET, the precursor to the internet, was spreading at an unprecedented pace across the states. Thus, the seeds for the modern internet were sown. ARPANET's inception was a pivotal moment in human history, a leap towards a world connected by invisible threads forever altering the way we communicate, learn, work, play, and even think. While ARPANET was expanding, another groundbreaking initiative was coming alive. This was the era of the dynamic duo, Vint Cerf and Bob Kahn, who were on the verge of revolutionizing the world of data transmission. Their inventive masterpiece, the Transmission Control Protocol and the Internet Protocol, famously recognized as TCPIP. But what makes this duo so remarkable? Let's break it down a bit more. more. Before the arrival of TCP IP, data transmission between computers was as difficult as trying to have a conversation in a concert with a heavy metal band performing full tilt. It was like navigating through a chaotic bazaar with no GPS. There was no efficient mechanism to guarantee that a message dispatched from one computer would arrive at its intended recipient without getting lost or becoming unintelligible in transit. Enter TCP IP. The Transmission Control Protocol, or TCP, took up the mantle of ensuring that data sent from one computer arrives at its destination completely intact. How did it manage this Herculean task? It did so by dissecting data into smaller manageable packets. Each packet could be sent independently and then reassembled upon reaching its destination, much like the individual pieces of a jigsaw puzzle. It's like the postmaster of the digital universe, sorting and delivering messages with the meticulousness of a seasoned watchmaker. The Internet Protocol, or IP other hand, played a different role. It allocated each computer on the network a distinct address. Imagine a sprawling apartment complex with each unit having its unique number. The IP does something similar, giving each computer its exclusive digital mailbox, assuring that the data packets dispatched by TCP found their, their way to the correct abode. Together, TCP and IP replaced the discordant orchestra of data transmission with a harmonious symphony. They transmuted a once chaotic, unreliable data transfer system into a sleek, efficient conduit, empowering computers worldwide to communicate with each other reliably and effectively. This innovation was of the interconnected world we find ourselves in today. So why does this matter? Simply put, without TCP IP, the internet we take for granted would be non-existent. Every email you dispatch, every web page you browse, every video you binge watch is made viable by these two unsung heroes of the digital age. They work relentlessly behind the scenes like the cogwheels in a watch to facilitate our online existence. With the advent of TCP IP, the cornerstone for the modern internet was solidly laid. Now the stage was primed for the next act in the saga of the internet's history, the dawn of the World Wide Web. But that chapter of the tale, dear listeners, 
is an enthralling narrative for another. As the 1980s began, an innovation of seismic proportions was about to burst onto the global stage. Nestled in the depths of CERN, the European Research Institution in Geneva, Switzerland, the nerve centre of the world's largest particle physics laboratory, a British computer scientist by the name of Tim Berners-Lee was quietly setting the stage for a technology revolution. His groundbreaking achievement? The World Wide Web, an invention that would irrevocably alter how humanity interacted with information. Berners-Lee was not just a scientist, he was an avant-garde, a futurist. His vision extended beyond the confines of conventional thought. He foresaw the potential of a global network where documents were interwoven by hypertext, a practice already utilised but not on such a colossal transformative scale. This concept of universal interconnection became the linchpin, the very foundation of what would later morph into the World Wide Web. A labour of dedication and innovative thought, the World Wide Web was carefully and systematically developed over the span of 1989 and 1990, representing a paradigm shift, a game-changing evolution. The World Wide Web propelled the internet from an exclusive tool wielded by scientists and academics in their ivory towers to an accessible, user-friendly global communication platform. Almost overnight, anyone equipped with a computer and a network connection could delve into a complex maze of information, share ideas and communicate unhindered by geographical barriers. This groundbreaking digital revolution was paralleled by another significant milestone in the Internet's timeline. The year 1989 heralded the birth of commercial Internet service providers, or, or ISPs. These companies provided the crucial infrastructure that enabled everyday individuals to connect to the Internet from the comfort of their own homes and workplaces. This was a monumental leap forward that thrust the Internet into the public spotlight, setting the stage for the digitally driven world we are familiar with today. Collectively, the advent of the World Wide Web and the emergence of commercial ISPs signalled the dawn of a new era in digital communication. They democratised information, breaking down barriers and enabling anyone, anywhere, to access knowledge and engage in global discourse. The internet was no longer a luxury for the privileged few, but a wealth of resources accessible to the masses. The World Wide Web brought the internet into living rooms and offices around the globe, transforming the way we communicate and laying the groundwork for a future where interconnectedness and digitalization are the norm. This was a truly pivotal moment, marking the advent of the information age in earnest. The transformative impact of these developments on society cannot be overstated. They revolutionised the world, fostering a culture of information sharing and collaboration, empowering individuals through unprecedented access to knowledge and making it possible for people, ideas, information to traverse the globe at the speed of light. They have given birth to new industries, creating opportunities for economic growth and development and fundamentally altering how we live, work and play. The Internet, a colossal interconnected digital network, has travelled an impressive distance since its modest beginnings. But where is this journey leading us? What does the future hold for this exceptional entity? To answer these questions, we must first journey back to an essential era of Internet evolution, the mid-90s. This was a period marked by the advent of a revolutionary technology, fibre optic cables, these delicate tendrils of glass, as slender as a human hair, sparked a paradigm shift in data transmission, enabling data to traverse at the speed of light. Experts like Dr. Robert Metcalf, a pioneer of internet technology, sees this as a pivotal turning point. In his words, fibre optics transformed the internet from a complex employed primarily by researchers and academia to a global platform for instant communication and a plethora of online services. Imagine a world where you can enjoy a video call with a friend thousands of miles away, indulge in a film at your whim, or even order groceries from the snug comfort of your home. Sound familiar? It should, as this is the face of the internet as we know it today. This, however, is not a static image. The internet is a dynamic, continually evolving entity, with its evolution often shaped by regional distinctions. For example, in specific parts of the globe, traditional wired connectivity is being skipped entirely in favour of mobile internet. 
This shift is reshaping how services are conceptualized and delivered. As technology expert Dr. Sarah Roberts states, in regions like Sub-Saharan Africa and Southeast Asia, mobile internet is not just an option, but the primary mode of accessing the digital world. This is fundamentally shifting the way we think about service delivery and digital inclusivity. Emerging technologies present yet another exciting layer to the internet's evolutionary journey. Just imagine a time where the internet is not merely a network of computers, but a network of everything. This vision is encapsulated in the concept of the Internet of Things, IoT. Everyday objects are linked to the Internet, facilitating communication and interaction that simplify and streamline our daily lives. As futurist Ian Kahn suggests, IoT is set to revolutionise the way we interact with our environment. It's a step towards a truly interconnected world. The Internet's exponential growth is not even close to its zenith. With each passing second, more people are gaining access to the internet, more data is disseminated and more potential is unlocked. As we venture into the future, one thing's certain. The internet will continue to evolve, shaping our world in unimaginable ways. As tech visionary Elon Musk puts it, the internet will be part of our reality in ways we can't even begin to comprehend. We've traveled through the depths of time, from the dawn of connectivity to the future of the internet. Now it's your turn to join the conversation. If you found this video informative and insightful, please give it a thumbs up. It helps us know that we're on the right track. We'd love to hear your thoughts on the evolution of the internet. Do you have any predictions about what the future holds for this vast digital network? Or perhaps you have some questions about something we discussed in this video. Please leave a comment below. We're eager to hear from you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. In doing so, you'll join a community of curious minds just like yours, and you'll never miss out on content like this. Thanks for watching. And remember, the internet is not just a technology. It's a living, evolving entity that we all play a part in shaping. So, let's continue this journey of discovery together. See you in the next video. Next.